Qatar is home to a growing number of young scientists and innovators. One of them is Mohammed Ahmed Al Kasabi. The 23 year old has emerged as one of the country's pioneers in sports innovation, and his journey began after his team lost a crucial football match owing to what he claimed was a missed offside call. Driven by a heartbreaking defeat, Mohammed set out to enhance the way offsides in football are detected, as well as performance analysis and injury prevention. He is now the inventor of the multi award winning smart system OPAS or the Offside and Performance Analysis System. Why this cutting-edge technology was created and how it can help in football officiating in this interview. I believe I was born with a football in my hand. Uh, I have been playing football since I was uh, young, but, I've been, but uh, I wanted to join a club, but my parents wanted me to focus on my academics first. So in 2010, after Qatar uh, won uh, the World Cup, uh, 2022 World Cup, uh, to be hosted here in Qatar, I made an agreement with my parents. If I get high grades in school, they will allow me to join one of the clubs here. So I got high grades and I joined the Arabic club in 2010. And I've been playing uh, for the club for, I think, more than 10 years. But uh, a few years back, uh, we had an important match in the semifinals, and it was against Al Rayyan. And usually the games between Al Arabi and Al Rayyan are like the derby in Doha. So it's always a tough game and we need to win the game because it's against Al Rayyan and because it's in the semifinals. So uh, we were so excited for the game, but we lost that game uh, because I believe because of a wrong offside call by the referee. Just what is offside rule? Simply put, a player is considered offside if closer to the opponent's goal line than both the ball and the second last opponent. So that small mistake uh, costed us the tournament. So I decided to leverage technology to tackle this problem. So uh, I came to Qatar Scientific Lab. Uh, I presented my idea and they were uh, really supportive. They gave me all the tools that I need and the engineers that were able to uh, help me during uh, my time to uh, develop the product. So uh, I was able to come up with and finalize uh, an idea that uh, uses nanotechnology, uh, like there are tiny chips that will be integrated within the ball and the player's uniforms to keep track of their movements. And then in case of any offside violation, a notification will be sent directly to the referee's watch automatically. And then I was able to also add some more features like to analyze the player's performances during the game and injuries in case they happen, uh, such as the ACL injury, since it's one of the worst injuries in football, uh, especially for uh, football players. So uh, we used AI to uh, prevent these kind of injuries or predict them before happening and then uh, uh, suggest ways to uh, uh, to train the players in certain ways to avoid these kind of injuries. Offside. The engineering of the product is perfect practically. Even the offside is real time. Also, in the analysis, we have a problem. It's great to see how a small idea that uh, was uh, that I thought of during a football match uh, ended up as a real product that today I call as OPAS, which is Offside and Performance Analysis System. Alhamdulillah, uh, we've uh, been trying OPAS and uh, implementing it in friendly matches. And in order to uh, implement it in uh, official matches, I need some approvals. So I met up with the FIFA. Uh, they have like some innovation uh, program going on, and one of the categories is related to offside. So I applied and had some meetings with them, and they really liked the idea, and they were uh, welcoming. Uh, the only thing they uh, mentioned that I need some approvals first from uh, the football association here locally. And of course, for uh, such a product uh, to be uh, uh, advertised and uh, to be uh, spread all around uh, Qatar and uh, beyond, it should be patent so I can protect the idea. And that's what uh, I've been working on as well. It's now uh, patented uh, in uh, the categories that uh, I've applied for. Recently, Mohammed represented Qatar in Seoul International Invention Fair in South Korea, where his Opus invention won four major awards. My biggest achievement that I'm really proud of today is being uh, awarded by the Platinum Medal by His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, the Emir of Qatar. I, it's true that I've won uh, other international awards, but this award keeps uh, on the top of my uh, record since uh, it was presented by His Highness. Mohammed emphasizes the need to organize more competitions with financial rewards, not only to motivate youth participation, but also to aid innovators in advancing their projects. 
But I would like to invite uh, institutions, especially here in Qatar, to organize uh, bigger competitions for innovators and have like financial awards first to uh, uh, motivate the youth to participate in such events and also to help the innovators to, uh, to take this award or this prize money to be spent on the project and to develop this project. At the end, uh, in order to participate in such competitions and develop such projects, we need some financial uh, aid and I, I believe a, comp a competition uh, for the innovators would be a great uh, start. As Mohamed al Kasabi seeks local support to implement his OPA's invention in official games, his mission goes beyond personal success as he aims to see more young Qataris pursue careers as inventors and reach their full potential. Reporting from Qatar Scientific Club in Abu Hamur, Mary Villabanza, The Peninsula.